Two side effects that we look for are it can make you make more red blood cells and it can make you make more estrogen. In terms of the red blood cells, red blood cells are the part of your blood that carry the oxygen um, and you need a certain number. You don't want to be anemic, which is not having enough of them because then you get more tired and you're not giving enough oxygen to your tissues. But the testosterone definitely in certain men um, and in many men can make you make more red blood cells, which to a point is good. But if you make too many and your blood becomes thicker, then you are at increased risk, particularly for uh, what are called blood clots in your legs or deep vein thromboses. So we keep a very careful look on the hematocrit. If it is getting too high, and again, the hematocrit is what percentage of your blood is made up of the red blood cells. If that is getting too high, then we either go down on the dosage or we encourage you to donate blood or both. If you cannot donate and you need a certain level of testosterone, then in that case, we will actually uh, take off the units in the office. It's called a therapeutic phlebotomy and we'll throw them out. But I much prefer, of course, someone go to a blood bank if they're allowed to donate because then you could save someone's life. The other uh, thing that we see when you increase testosterone is since testosterone is converted into estrogen, if you have more testosterone, you do get more estrogen. That is usually irrelevant, but some men are very sensitive to the increased estrogen and get some uh, nipple sensitivity or a little bit of breast tissue. There is not an increase in cardiovascular events and there is not an increase in prostate cancer. But the nice thing is that if that happens, we can give you uh, something that blocks a pill that blocks the conversion of the testosterone to estrogen and we do then get regression of any of that breast tissue so it's not permanent but we do keep an eye out for it